Ugh, we still got a bit more to pay in order to like get all the way through things, don't we? <laughs> I just find it so weird that the game has to like load itself that way. It's just like I can't do anything else. Uh, da -da -da -da. oh, actually, there you go. Yay! We need to see so many more kitties. So many more kitties. Alright then, I, I guess that we just don't really have them or something? In progress, I just need to get a, a feather of some sort. Which is, I just don't really have. Hmm. Can I do any of these yet? I could kind of do this one, I think. Nope, they're bronze seal. I forgot. Sorry, excuse me. I don't get to do that stuff. So, what should I do then? Hmm. Freema Gorge isn't that far, honestly, so I could just do that stuff. Like, I could just take care of these things. Yeah, let's go ahead and defeat that. Defeat that. And this. And this. And I can't take any more jobs. Talus Road and that one. So... We'll just abandon the job for now because we can't really complete it right now. I mean, I want to, but I just, I don't really get to have it, I guess. It's weird. So, maybe... There we go. It's weird that butterfly monsters are called the same thing as, you know, just normal butterflies. <laughs> Not that I've ever gotten them mixed up or anything. Don't be silly. <laughs> <laughs> you totally did, huh, Leia? Poor Leia. Poor predictable Leia. Oh. Oh, no, no. God dang it. God dang it. How do I keep mixing myself up with all this Let's stuff? Alright. Um. Ba, 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 ba. There you go. And. Boop. Okay. No. I keep messing up the freaking things all the time. Why do I keep doing that? I seriously mix them up every time. Okay. Oh, wow. So I have to actually like leave this little area here. For a really rare item. I don't know if we'll find it through normal means. Why not ask the cats to do it? They're always coming back with rare items. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, did I just have to be out here in order to, like... Nope. Okay, so that's the weirdest thing. You could return to, um... Over here pretty easily. Like, that's that's fine. But once you have to go to Reason Max, you have to, like, go to the other side at the very least. In order to do it. If not, have to go to the harbor. So that's... that's Yeah, you have to actually go through the whole entire harbor right here. Like, there's no buts about it. I have to do it this way. Odd. Very, very odd. Alright. It's fine. here and then we want to go to wait is there no gorge I, I, I can't select gorge as the location huh or have I not been on here so I can't go to it I think that's what it is I just can't go to it that way that's weird I know I've been to the gorge before so I'll just go to charlatan uh, and then we'll go here. Okay, so now we're back here. Um, I believe the gorge is somewhere close by. So I either have to do one or two things. Also, what the heck is this? Item shop. Okay, so that's what it meant. I was so confused over that blue thing. Alright then. So, we don't really need to do anything here. We've done all the little 
chapter stories that we can do. All we're trying to do now is just get that debt free. But in order to get that debt free, we need to go to the gorge. Because the gorge has a lot of job stuff to do. And then we just level up ever so slightly while getting all the jobs done. So that's what we want to do. I went to the wrong area. <laughs> okay. So maybe not there. I could have sworn there's a place that I could go. And if, if that's where I need to go. Hmm. Is it over this way then? Please tell me it's over this way. This is... Talus High Road. Oh wow, this looks like so much more BD and such. I mean, at the very least, this should be like filling up a lot of stuff here. But it's not a dungeon, weirdly enough. It's a, it's a other. So, let's go to... Charlton again. Gotta go to that one. We just effectively jumped a screen this in, essentially. Okay, so let's not go there. It's not. What an effective idea. Leave it to the privileged elite to find a way to make their lives even easier. What? Anyone can post a job request? Why didn't you say anything sooner? What? Alright, is it over here? Okay, no, that's not where I want to go. But I've been to the gorge before! I know I have! I, was it just because it was in a little pocket dimension? Hmm. Well, that's a little spot that I don't be believe I've been to, but not the spot I'm not trying to get to. Hmm. So the spot right there we haven't been to, and the spot right here we haven't been to. So that's a green area that's close by it, right there. Colmer Trail. And then it's to, like, a red thing. Okay, I guess we'll just go to the Colmer Trail then. I, I guess this is where, where the gorge leads to or something? Question mark? We should be fine on, on all accounts to get through this without having to face anything. Which, admittedly, I probably should go face stuff, but at the same time, it's just like, I don't need to. And I don't wanna. So I'll just collect whatever we can over here. And, uh... Get out of here. Because fast travel's fun. And I, I ain't no sucker. There we go. There's our gorge area. I found it. That was a little too hard to find, honestly, but I got it. There's the cavern. So is this like a dungeon? No, the gorge itself is a dungeon. The cavern's just like in between these things or something. Oh. Oh, hey. This is where a thing happened. Okay, so it's just a weird little cavern. Got it. Do 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 do. All right, so we could actually go take things on now, thankfully enough. And I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that I've taken on these things before, so we should be fine, unless the game lied to me. Let's do that power hit right there. Good work. Alright, apparently I'm attached to Mila right now. Uh, you know what that worked for me, I'll take it. You're amazing! <laughs> I guess I overdid it. Okay. Hmm, should be fine here. It does tell us all our jobs that we have done, so I just need to make sure to count how many that I have done. I know that the toidles are the the longest ones, I think, aside from the bees, from the hornets. Oh, we need to get this guy. So we should be fine on all accounts, in all honesty, when it comes to this bit. And again, this is one of the biggest reasons why I actually like the grinding bit here, because there's sort of like this way to just like have this dead thing going, while at the same time just like 
oh, you could also earn money and like do the side quest stuff. And I just yes. I really love that idea. It's my favorite. I mean, it's probably done way too often. And if you're talking about like doing this in terms of uh, like we're gonna like plow through it all together, I don't think it's a great system to work with. But for a pick up and play style, most definitely this game has has that going for it. Like just pick it up, play it for like a few hours or so, and then just just have at it. You're good. That's all you need to do. No way to run. Like the only real problem comes when you're excessively playing it, and by excessively I mean to the point where it's like a 10 hour thing, or like you're trying to speedrun it, because I definitely don't feel like you can speedrun this game properly at all. I mean maybe you can? I don't know. And the people that, that speedrun uh, JRPGs are more power to you. I couldn't do it. <laughs> Even with glitches and everything. And that's Just no thank you. Although I have wanted to, to see how to actually do a, um, a low level speedrun uh, quote unquote of Final Fantasy VI because that seems like the, one of the more interesting speedruns out there. Like it doesn't make sense. Oh god that's scary. Like it doesn't seem to make sense at all. And I want to do it. I want to do that because it doesn't seem to make sense. And people have done it before. They've beaten the game like uh, like level 6 and stuff. And like, whoa, that's cool. I like the idea of a low level speedrun. Or rather, just low level uh, play. And the reason for that is because Zero Mission. Zero Mission got me so hooked on doing like low percentage runs. Because I did like the 15... Uh, run percentile there and it's so fun it's so great i love it i should really do one again another 50 percent run because i know uh i know uh metroid zero mission pretty freaking well um uh, not the best best but clearly enough to like get, get myself going and then on top of that it doesn't take very long to actually do the whole thing so i might have to actually do that at some point legitimately but aside from that, just, uh, you know, just, I like the idea, the concept of the whole entire, like, hey, you know, you could play a game and, like, know it so well that you could actually beat it faster at lower levels because you exploit the game so much. And that's just, like, the coolest little bit to me. And having RPGs like that is definitely peachy keen. I definitely feel like this game... You can be very low leveled, and it doesn't matter that much. And that's why I don't really mind it so much, but at the same time, it's just like... Hmm, kinda wanna just like grind it out, you know? Just, just kill the enemies that way. Which admittedly, like, I don't really have to worry about super a lot. Like, a lot of these enemies, they just kinda like, like go away anyway. And the bosses that are there, I'll just like grind out just a little bit more. So I can live enough to actually, you know, hit them. So I know that was my problem with Rowan's little thing. Because Rowan's boss battle in, in his little dimension pocket thing was freaking hard. <laughs> it was it was a hard fight, but we won. We, we just did a few more little things, and that's it. Uh, we need to get this boy. See? It's right there, just, just kind of as a windy boy. Ah, jerk! Get out of here. <laughs> I am trying to strike it. There's only so much I can do. <laughs> Alright, we're good. We're, we're good, good. So I just need to find a butterfly. Which I have no idea where to go for that thing. It should be in this little area, though, because it, it was all pretty much directed here. Hmm. Where are you, Mr. Butterfly? I know you're around here somewhere. I know I'll get you. Oh, God! <laughs> Too far of a jump. Too spoopy. Oh, grab it, grab it. Did he just say hello there? I... Did he actually say hello there? We got him. So it's called Wooshier Goes. It's so weird. I didn't know they had little, little things there. I'm, I'm looking at it now. It says Whoosh There It Goes. Good day. Okay. Look at this guy with his swagger. Oh, freaking... What's with this enemy? It's so stupid. It's the best. It's the best kind of stupid enemy. You okay? 
Good. More level ups. It's always good. Whoa! Dear Lord, that, that was scary to see. Ah! Wait, is this a butterfly? No, that's that's the wind mage. Oh, but there's a butterfly right there. Get him! Wait, did the butterfly go away? <laughs> okay, so they're getting like the other butterfly little thing. So that's good. I should do it. Damn, they got cursed off. Just like looking at the side, just like <laughs> you owe me money, break, <laughs> break. But since the job hasn't been done yet, hmm. Defeated a specific number of win uh, dungeon though. So that's good. Yeah, that that's scary to see. Just this random thing right here. Ugh. That looks nasty too. No, thank you. I I don't want to face that thing at all. Again, I probably should go ahead and go on this big old monster cruise spree, but I don't want to. Grab that real quick. Grab this real quick too. Sucker. Can't catch me on the gingerbread man. Boop bloop 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 bloop. Yeah, wasn't this the area right here where we actually went to go fight something like that? I think so. Okay, it's fine. This area is so calming and collected, just like, yeah. Eventually your Windows 7 will be fully uploaded. Until then, please enjoy this music. Like, legit. Also, I keep forgetting to add these. I'm a little bad at that. I'm, I'm super bad at that. Probably shouldn't have eaten that one, but it's fine, I guess. I guess it's fine. Grab oh god, this is the bad one. This is the bad one. Could you not? Could you just not be in like a terrible area? Let me just get you. Screw you. <sighs> Ugh, guy! He had to be hogging the you plate, didn't he? Right. You got it. Ooh, you're done. Yes. Okay, so we got a good amount of money there, but what we could do is get more money. Uh, I said more money. There we go. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So there's a butt. There's, there's just the little wasp guy. I don't need to go face him. We could just, just wait right there for him. We we'll need to fight the Dingians. They find the way they are. Honestly, I'm also like really confused where I'm at. Like for real. Oh, there it is. There, there's, there's my butterfly. I gotta get that butterfly. Ay, ay, ay! I gotta get a butterfly. Who is the butterfly? I tell you, the butterfly. You know what the weird thing is too is that in a lot of cultures that are not American, the butterfly is actually a very ominous being of of misfortune and whatnot. If you dare interfere, then you will face total annihilation. Really? You gotta be gotta be the good that that full on thing here, the full speech. Alright, sh that should have been it. No? Eh. Glibberry. Avento. Jabu. Okay, report all but this. I don't know what those gentle Sylvies are, but I could have sworn I defeated more than four. Hmm. I don't remember what they are. View synopsis. I, they can't give me a picture? Okay, I guess I can just look at those little visible things again. Well, they gotta be somewhere, right? I mean, I saw them before. Jeez, rude, mister. Grab this too, because we can. Go back up here. So, we got all our tours, guys. We got all that little bit. There's a thing up there. I'm gonna go get it. But I ain't seen any more of our, uh, our swaggy boys that are coming up in here just don't see him. So how do I how do I go to that? 
Like so? Up here. Over here. Yeah, there we go. It's just, just a jump. Ooh, that's good. A, a cat hair band actually works for me. Oh, I'll take it! Get that stuff too. Because it's important to me. Hmm. This honestly feels like some sort of elevator music. Or like something close to it, you know? Like a spoothing yoga recording studio. Just trying to brush away your, your sadness and tears. Ah. Yeah, there's our swag boy. Okay, so we can actually see what this guy is. Okay, yeah, he is that. That's what he is. He's, he's the thing that we're looking for. So we need to get at least three more of them? Question mark? Oh my god, this guy has like jumping jacks on himself. Get out of here, buddy. No. Oh, he's resistant to all of it. That's rude. So he's resistant to that. That's weird. I mean, he's still taking the damage, so that's, that's the most important part. If there is evil, it is in the hearts of men. Guess who just it's kind of like ominous, like super ominous. Don't do that, man. There's no, don't, 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 don't be talking about those stuff. We're having a good time. We're supposed to be having a good time here, Mila. Here you are, just kind of like blowing everybody out. Hmm. I gotta get up there somehow, eh? I think this is the area that is like the very tippy top. Eh. 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 Hmm. Well, there's butterfly again. No, butterfly, I don't know. Man. Ah, I don't want to deal with this. I gotta deal with it now. Leave it to me. Freaking rude. Leave it to me. <sighs> Come on. Yeah, there we go. That's good. I'll, I'll take that hit. Alright, so now I gotta redo my little, little little food item. Give myself a tasty tasty little elemental orb. There you go. That's, that's a good stuff. I'll go up there. Up here. Oh well, yeah, you had to like climb up all the way over here, didn't you? And then you had to jump. All right, I want I want I actually want to jump. So, Whee! <laughs> okay, so that's how I entered it last time. I totally forgot. I honestly did. That's pretty cool though. I don't like it. All right, we just need a few more of those guys. Hello. How are you doing today? Ah, sure. This guy. This guy just had to be like right by him. Wow, they just all came up and just died. Died diddly eyed. Oh, job ready to report. Okay, we're all good. So we should have all the things that we need. We're just gonna go up here real quick because I saw shiny and shiny is the most important thing to me. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Time to report our job. If I could just press the right button sometime. <laughs> to report the job I shall, and then the job shall be paid. It's the Department of Liability Affairs. We've detected an outstanding debt on your account. I've sent an invoice. Please take care of it. Ha! <laughs> what do you think? Did I sound like Vera? Dead on impersonation, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard it several times. I'm actually not bored of it, but it just I understand that it's gonna get boring pretty much right after that. Okay. Reporting everything, cause I like money. Money, money, honey. Ah, oh, we're so close. We're so close. Could it? We got so many things to do. So many places to be. And I can't do that one because it's a bronze seal. Why? Why you do this? Why you make it this way for me? No. Oh. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't got nothing else. Surprised I didn't get the holy ash. Can you bring me a holy ash? There's been a holy craze. Uh, location Mila's shrine. You got it. I guess. Ugh. But now I can finally make payments. What? <laughs> to be honest, I felt really bad about your whole predicament at first. But if you keep this up. You'll be out of the hole in no time. Vera here. I've got urgent news for you. Former Director Kresnik has stolen the Kanan Waymarker you recovered. What? I've also been given a message for you from a man named Erston. It reads, meet me in front of the Spurious building. The King! Hmm. We need to pursue Julius. Let's uh, see what er Ernest has to say. Um. Uh, you know what? I want to go see my brother. I'm pleased to hear it. Director Rideau's pursuit team has been dispatched to Aladi Sea Haven. Please meet up with him there. This guy ran off again? Yeah. Okay. So we gotta get glasses guy again. Kinda figures, right? Uh, what was the thing I needed to go do? I'm trying to think here. Open your thing lost. Okay, there you go. You're good. <laughs> I just like... I get dazed sometimes with this situation. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and save because saving is good. There we go! We did it. We saved. And I got to text my friend because they were like, you watch Steven Universe? And I was like, yes! <laughs> Honestly, I just find it weird whenever someone recommends me something. Ugh. He is here. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to go talk to him again, aren't I? Ugh. Aside from that, mm, might as well go get get down to it, right? Let's talk to you real quick. Director uh, Rhinax is waiting. I just I don't wanna. <sighs> Let's talk to him. Proceed through the main story. Chapter eight: A song echoes through the falls. Well, that took long enough. Lady Mi- Quit messing with my head, Faker! What? First you drag me into this mess, then you call me names? How dare you? I... Forgive me. She's stern in her own way, but it's just not the same. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. So, the real one still isn't back yet? No. Muse is looking for her, but... I see. Hey, how come Mr. Rideau is wearing those funny glasses? He's hiding some fancy footwork. Old Julius stomped his face pretty good before he made his escape. <laughs> I wanna see! It's pretty funny! Let's get this show on the road. Uh, your wish is my command, sir. Dear Julius was last spotted here at the Sea Haven. Split up and root him out. All right, then. We'll take the western side of the trail. Well, in that case, I guess we'll search him out. Just like old times. And we'll check the sea routes. I want Julius taken alive, understood? I need to return his hospitality. You know what? I lived when I was a child. Pretty sure you're still a child. Why do you think glasses <laughs> guy ran away? He must have had a reason. 
Okay then. Oh dear. Uh, this guy actually reminds me of that, that one girl that we talked to in um, the gorge area, cause his 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 hair looks very similar. So I'm like, are they related? Wait a say. Hmm. Man, things sure are getting heavy. I guess that Ivor guy isn't all bad. Yeah, but those three sure make for a lousy party. What three? What three? What three? There's two. There's two peoples. Also, I forgot where I'm, where I'm going. Head Hamilton, and search for Julius. Okay. Oh, so there's only gonna be... That's it? It's just gonna be us? Mila and, and Elise? Okay then, I guess. Hamill, here we go. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. We just that that's all. Hmm. Okay then. Ah! It's Muse. Don't tell me you're hurting these villagers. I would never do such a thing. Muse. Mila. Or not. But who might you be? Uh, I'm the former Maxwell. Pleased to meet you. Beg your pardon? Mm. Alternate dimensions. The land of Canaan. Does that ring any bells? Perhaps. Well, if it isn't that floating porridge thief! Who, Muse? What can I say? I was getting pretty hungry. Wait, so spirits can get hungry? Honestly? No. But Mila taught me the pleasure of eating a good meal. You did, huh? Uh, that wasn't me. An unauthorized agent's entered a fractured dimension. We think it's Julius Kresnik. The probability of this dimension containing a way marker strikes us as very high. Luger, let's go after him! Not so fast, children. I'm pretty sure that Julius fellow is expecting you. Even so, we're not about to pass up this chance. In that case, Luger, would it be an imposition to take me along? What? I don't mind, but why? Oh, no, you're fine. I want to keep my eye on this one. If she's like my Mila, she's reckless. <laughs> I don't need a babysitter. One Aww. more weirdo's joining the crew, Rolo. <laughs> hey, if she's a friend of yours, then one of you needs to pay up. <sighs> Twenty dollars. Oh, one orange. Muse, shouldn't you pay Luger back for the money you cost him? Are you reprimanding me? What an adorably impudent child you are. <laughs> wow, you really have changed. I'm barely scared of you at all anymore. What a horrible thing to say. I've never been scary. She has butterfly wings. Aren't they great? But I'm not a bug, you know. I know that. You're a spirit. Just like Mila's big sister. She's not like her at all. My sister had an awe-inspiring presence. My, aren't you rude? I'll have you know that I used to be quite awe-inspiring. I don't know if that's the word I would use. She used to be a psychopath. <laughs> How come you're so different now? I don't know who you used to be, but like the way you are now. Yeah, that's true. I do like her now. I feel like she's she has a sort of ditzy kind of like, you know what? It's fine. Oh my Luger. Are you hitting on me? Oh my god. You're hitting on her? Huh? Calm down. She's obviously joking. Of course I was, but isn't that how all the best romances begin? How would I know? <laughs> that was a joke, too. I'm sure it was. <laughs> Come to think of it. I like the way Muse is now, too. 
I love this. I love Yuzu being a part of the group. I didn't know that was going to happen. That's so cool. I mean, I knew she was part of the story, but not like, you know, we're going to have her in a group for real. That's really cool. Oh, where are we supposed to go? Aren't we supposed to just head to the Fractured Dimension? Okay, Fractured Dimension, son. Yeah, see, look, there we go again. Death 169, deviation 0.51. So it's not too much, but it's still enough. And the death's actually like pretty, pretty low. Not super low, but low enough. Yeah, let's go. Mm-hmm. Hello. A guy wearing glasses just came through here and head off deep into the sea falls. I tried to warn him about a, a creepy blood-sucking monster that lurks around here, but he just smiled and said, that's what I'm looking for. Weird. So... There are monsters here who camouflage themselves as rocks. Best stay on your toes. You sure know a lot about monsters. Naturally. I do everything I can to stay away from them. Okay. Alright, that should do it. I should, I should be equipped with something proper now. So we're a little bit better in terms of the, all the equipment and whatnot. I was just like really confused over the whole situation there. Like largely a, a lot of the whole entire like why I don't try to equip a lot in JRPGs is just because it's time consuming. Yeah, and Tales of Zillia is like even more so, so yeah, that, that doesn't help. So let's let's get in these days, uh little thing up here. See, oh geez, lightning. Oh, finished already? Yeah, she's got a real good stuff going on there. Okay, her her partner skill support warp. When uh, Muse is your partner, she will warp your uh, right in front of the target enemy when you perform a front step and will warp you to a certain distance away from uh, the enemy when you perform a back step. You'll pass through enemies while warping, so it is highly effective to link with uh, Muse when fighting in a crowded battlefield. I love getting stronger. Nice. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Hmm. I just don't like how it's like always like a purple tint. Like I know they want to make it so it's supposed to be like slightly different, but what they could have done in all honesty instead of just making a purple tint was just change like some of the things. Like why not? Why not just change some of the little things? That would have been cool if like some of the enemies were like like blue or something, or they had like different colored rocks or something like that. Nothing super super big. But just enough for that. Because I feel like they don't do that. They might do that. I just don't notice. It's just, it's just too small to notice. But if you're making a parallel world dimensional like hopping thing, um, just take note, everybody. Just, just do that. Make, make that stuff happen. Because that's, that's the cool stuff. Because I would really love... Uh, for more alternate dimension uh, hopping stuff going on here. And what's with, like, sequels have that sort of dimension hop thing going on for it? Because I could have sworn Chrono Cross is also supposed to be that way in that sense, too. Which is another game that I want to play for sequel 2018, if you know what I'm saying here. <laughs> There's just so many sequels to go with. So many. And so little time. Too many time. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Wait, don't I have to like... I think I do. Burp. Burp. Okay, yeah, we didn't. So that's good. It's good that we hit the tomato right there. And then. So I'll make sure to like battle all these enemies because it will help for the next little battle that we have going on for the boss. Because we're a lower level than we should be. And that's not good. Yourself. <laughs> I figured as much. Right, I love cool. getting Hmm. 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 Grabby, grabby. All right. 
So this is a just a weird frog thing. Gotcha. I've seen these before. It's literally just called a rivet. Really? It's another thing I wish RPGs would just be better at, essentially. And kind of what I like Sequoidin, for the fact that you're mostly fighting, um, uh, like, not, you're not fighting, like, bosses, but you're fighting, a how to say, the things. <laughs> the thingy things. You, you know, the, mm, humans. <laughs> Because in Sequoia, it's mostly like humans that you fight along the way, and it's like, why would you need to make, you know, fighting humans just, like, any different? You don't really need that. You don't need to do that. So that, like, helps out everything and whatnot, so that's, that's pretty freaking cool. I likes it. I likes it for that fact, and that fact alone. But it would be nice, you know. It would be nice to actually have some, some better talking and looking enemies and such. So I just, like... Oh, Holy Wiggles is a pretty fancy name. That's a bad example. But it's something that JRPGs have something, you know, in common a lot. Just naming things like Caterpillar and just like, okay then. Then again, at the same time, I also complain about <laughs> freaking them having weird ass town names. <laughs> like, I really don't like the town names that people give for themselves. It's just, it gets confusing.